what I do is not reality TV because it's not a reality show because a reality show is watered down. What I'm going to give you is all access, raw and uncut. Mic check, mic check. All access. Life is not predetermined. Everything can change. Eight months removed from the darkness of prison. Floyd Mayweather, boxing's pound for pound king, steps into the safest place he's ever known, the spotlight. I got a divorce, I'm married again. Signed to potentially the largest individual contract in sports history, Money May looks beyond the fallen adversaries of his era to face the ghost of a new generation. A ghost that refuses to linger in the shadows of the king. Robert Guerrero, a man familiar with the struggles and rewards of hard work and a modest life, looks to leave his mark on the sport. You have the biggest athlete in the world, the biggest athlete in the world, highest paid, acting a fool. Before you can even speak on anything about me or about my life, first, accomplish what I've accomplished. 43 have tried and failed to crack boxing's unsolvable puzzle, but at 36, does he still have what it takes? He knows deep down in his heart, his legs are starting to get a little slower. He's not moving the way he used to move. He knows. I'm gonna show how like the fight too. There's not a blueprint on how to beat Floyd Mayweather, but there is a blueprint on how to beat Robert Guerrero. It don't matter. Just put him in front of him. I beat him. For the next four weeks, I got the humbling spirit right here. Nothing will be held back. Money Mayweather coming to you live. Mayweather, yeah. Guerrero, raw and real is life. All access. Twenty-four hours into a contract that could dazzle even the most luxury of lives, Floyd Money Mayweather heads home to where it all began. I don't record nothing fake. I got it. Got to be all real, baby. Damn, it's cold in this mother. It's so cold. It's so cold. Mother, mother, man, I ain't never felt this man. I ain't never felt this man. <laughs> Last time I've been to Grand Rapids, uh, five years. I don't just look at this one city saying that's my home. But what we had today is where it all started from. So we're going to go on a tour. Yeah, I got to come back to the hood. Old school, baby. Call it old school. I make flash on you. My bean. It's 100 for you. Thank you. Hey, hey get them two back there, 100 a piece. Okay. OK, come on, let's go. This is the first box gym right here where everything started from. In this door right here. It's been closed down for years. Um, it's, it, it was called uh, the Tawasi uh, Boxing Club, so uh, that's where I started at. Let's keep moving. That's a top of the line, baby. That's chicken coop. Boy, that mother is fire right there. Don't none of y'all don't know. This right here is the greatest mother. Do your thing, bro. I don't want so much money off you, bro. Team Mayweather. That's why I lived there my whole life. This is my grandmother's house. She never wanted to leave her house. She always wanted to keep this house just recently. I finally convinced her to move out the house, and I bought her a new house in a better neighborhood. My first punching bag is still in this house. My bronze medal from the 96 Olympic Games is in this house. This is still my house. This will always be my house. We finna get in the car, because it's cold. <laughs> Being in jail, it gave me time to just reflect on my whole life. Thank you so much. 70 days, I was locked away. You know, I was locked in a box. Come on, get the cameras. Be ready. Mentally, it made me appreciate my family. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. This lady that raised me, my grandmother. Everybody want to know where we learn how to fight from. <laughs> my grandmother taught us how to fight. I ain't no boxer. He was a fighter. <laughs> Every day when I'm in that gym, I think about where I come from. My grandmother used to clean offices. Don't be saying bad words around your grandma. Ain't that for TV? You know we gotta use bad words for TV. That's what for TV. You know we gotta sell it. Uh -huh. Tell them for TV. Get that camera off my face, for I crack your mother. Tell them. Tell them. That's that. for TV though. Oh, I'm gonna crack your mother. <laughs> I told you that we with your head crack. I had a rough life, but she gave me the best that she can give me. Yep, I did. I told her once I make it to a certain position, a certain point, she ain't had to work no more. It was a long road, but it all paid off.
I like that money. I like that money. <laughs> I like this money. You say I like this money. <laughs> okay, money, I'm gonna go. Okay, I love you. You know, I don't. I didn't just wake up and just get the biggest deal. Not just in boxing, but in sports. It's obvious I'm doing something right. I'm just happy that I'm able to share this day with everybody that's in this room because it's a special day for me. Huh. We got 30 months to go, baby, and then we finish. So thank you, everybody. <laughs> Full throttle into new territory, Robert Guerrero represents the heartland of America, a gun-toting, four-wheeling red state boy in the blue state of California. Well, Guerrero's a great town. I've lived here all my life, so the nice thing about it is everybody's seen me growing up. I'm boxing amateur, professional, winning championships. Everybody's used to see me all the time, so, you know, it's, it's nice being here. Boxing is a Guerrero family business. And in G-Town Boxing, there are no spotlights, no entourage, just hard work, a loving family, and a small crew. Laced up tight and led by dedicated trainer and father, Ruben Guerrero. It's like a natural thing. I've been with him so long, and uh, we've been a real tight family for years. We see each other every day. We have fun doing it. You know, that's what's so good about it, because we're a real close family. I've won six world titles in four different weight classes. My dad says I'm moving through weight class like the way I change underwear. <laughs> 12 years and 31 victories in, Guerrero, a relentless and stalking southpaw with devastating knockout power, has proven to his father and himself that he has the skills and savvy to be a dominant force in boxing. No one wanted to fight him. You're as good as the opportunities you get. He, he wasn't able to get those types of opportunities because he was too good for his own good. So I said, you got to start being a little bit more open, you know, and start calling guys out. I'm looking for Floyd Mayweather next, man. Pretty boy, let's do it, you know? I've been pursuing the Mayweather fight for a good, good year and a half. You know, I'm the mandatory to fight him at 147 pounds for the WBC Championship of the World. You want me to hire some cheerleaders? You think we need some? Yeah, for punks. Yeah. <laughs> Just me, my son, we don't need a lot of people. We keep it a tight camp. Probably a lot different from a Mayweather gym, huh? And you don't have 50 million guys going hard work dedication. Because you either just do hard work, you don't need anybody to be screaming it out like a cheerleader. You leave that for the football games. You need about 50 guys to smell your jock and tell you that you're, you're the best and everything, you know? He's just a obnoxious creep. <laughs> That's all he is. Boxing needs to get back to where it was. Classy. Gentleman's sport. You got the youth coming up. See a clown like that? What kind of role model are you? You got millions of kids around the world looking up to you, watching, you know, boasting about money, boasting about cars, boasting about where you live, boasting about your jet, you know, going to jail for what he did. How do young kids take that in? They think it's cool. Oh man, be like that, oh, that's cool. There's always lessons for people to learn. And this is one of those lessons Floyd's gonna learn. May 4th, his old mentality is gonna change. Then you say goodbye to the bad guy. With eight weeks to the fight, Mayweather and Guerrero square off in an arena, nothing like the MGM Grand. This is the biggest production I've been a part of, biggest fight. I mean, any fight with Mayweather, I mean, no matter who it is, it's gonna be their biggest fight of their career. You know, it's just something that comes with the territory, something you gotta do, but uh, you gotta stay focused and keep your mind on the prize. Today, what it's been like, um, well, it's been slow. <laughs> For one thing, um, Floyd showing up late, uh, you know, Take the time of waiting around to take a nice nap. Floyd's gonna be Floyd. I apologize to everyone for being late. I can, I'm not gonna say I won't be late again because that's not true. But I can promise you this when I do come, I'm gonna have an arsenal of entertainment. All right, Floyd. Let's go, boss, man. Let's work that. What does it take to sell this fight? The fight is sold already because of me. It's a Mayweather weekend, it's a Mayweather show. Robert Guerrero, the only thing he has to do is just show up. There is no other physical or professional profile like Floyd Mayweather's. Undefeated, his record shatters all others. Undeniable, his skills, his style make it look easy. I ain't had no, I ain't had no hard fight yet in boxing. 
It all been easy. I'm coming for you, Guerrero. You know it. This is not a first barbecue. This is our sixth world title that I've been with my son. We're ready to go. I'm going to bless you with a come May 4th. Just kept attacking, bro. 44 steps to the plate, and 44 will come up short. Guarantee that. It's your biggest payday and your only payday. You know, Floyd, I mean, he'll stare you down. What you do? I'd intimidate yeah, what you. you. What you We're both in the fight game. This is what we do. We fight. Hey, you know I'm mad at you now. I'm mad at you. You're taking my easy work. That's my work. That's my easy work. That's my work. No, that's mine. Um, you're not going to let somebody walk over you and tell you and bully you around. You, know, you got to stand your ground. That's a big mistake, man. Signing that contract, bro. You know, he's not intimidating. Like he does everybody else. Guys like Victor Ortiz, all these other guys, he's intimidated. Though. With me, there ain't no intimidation at all. I'm coming to fight regardless of the way you act, the way you talk. I'm coming to fight. Well, he don't never want to shoot a commercial with me again. <laughs> I know. He's like, no. <laughs> Can I talk to you? Oh, I had his... Smoke it. Smoke it. Just off the strip, nestled in Las Vegas' is Chinatown, stands the Mayweather Boxing Club, a humble home away from home for boxing's highest roller. Hard work! Dedication! Hard work! Dedication! Hard work! Dedication! Dedication. I'm still hungry. I still got a lot to prove. I'm ready to fight today. I'm ready to fight now. Everybody's game plan is this. Keep pressure. Throw a lot of punches. Last time I checked, all 43 said it. We'll just have to see. Eight months have blurred by since Floyd served a nine-week stint in the Clark County Detention Center. His fight with Guerrero marks his return, but it's within the rhythm of training camp that he finds Flo. He's joined by familiar members of Team Mayweather, his uncle and longtime trainer, Roger Mayweather, president of Mayweather Promotions, Leonard Ellerby, an 84-year-old cut man, Rafael Garcia. Out. But the newest face in camp is actually the one he's known the longest, his father, Floyd Sr. Me and my dad is back together as a team. That's not a good thing, it's a great thing. If it comes together, it's a great thing. If it explodes, that's family. You know, that comes with the territory. For the Mayweathers, it's been a life filled with battles within the boxing ring and the family circle. A volatile father and son relationship held together by the very thing that once ripped it apart, pride. And on May 4th, Floyd Sr. will be back in his son's corner for the first time in years. I'm his father. I'm gonna tell my son what he needs to know. It's, it's, not, it's not to hurt him, it's to benefit him. Your head's moving good, Everything else gonna come off there. Right hand and left hook. Pop, pop. There you go. That's what we want, baby. It, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't about me being growner than him. He grown as he gonna get. He ain't gonna get no growner than he is now. What's your age? My age. I mean, I'm a young whatever I am. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop my nephew from saying to his dad, oh, uh, you can train me. I, I'm not gonna do that. That's my brother still. I just haven't had two of the best trainers in the world that's in my family. We should work together as one. I feel that we're stronger together than apart. My dad is the trainer. My Uncle Roger, he's also my trainer. But fight night, my dad will be in my corner. At the end of the day, all you have is family. When it's all over and done, you have nothing but your family. The same people just started with. I met my wife, man. We were like 14 years old. She lived around the corner from me, so I used to see her all the time. She had a crush on me. Yeah, I did, actually. I thought he was cute. We met and we hit it off, and that was it. We've been together for 14 years uh, of our life, basically. <laughs> I fell in love with her, and I'm still in love with her, and man. Can be happier. The hardest hits to take are the sucker punches life throws when no one is looking. In a span of less than five years, Guerrero went from a prospect to belt holder, from bachelor to husband to father, from a boxer to a combatant, 
of an entirely different fight. She got diagnosed with cancer the week of the Martin Hanalio fight. Man, my heart just dropped. I mean, I felt sick. I mean, there was not even no thought about fighting at all. I was in the hospital, you know, they had to give me all this medicine and stuff. And I'm like, go to it. You know, you're already ready. You've been training and everything. Just go, I'll be fine. Go out there, fight. I want you to go fight. You're ready. And the champion, Robert the Ghost Guerrero, enters with much on his mind. Last week, his 23-year-old wife, Casey, diagnosed with leukemia. Despite this extremely distracting situation, Al Guerrero decided to fight on. And a straight left hand by Guerrero, and down goes Osorio in the first round. A spectacular, dramatic one-punch knockout for Robert Guerrero. I love you, honey. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Why is for you, Casey? Casey, I say how's it? Guerrero's one-round bout with Honorio was the last before his long battle against a much greater adversary, his wife's cancer. A battle that at once would force him to vacate his title, but show him the true strength of the human spirit. With Casey's cancer in remission, family and fighter return to a new normal, where Casey also fights every day. One of them is like for my legs and feet, like the tingling and numbness that I have. Another one is a anti-rejection drug where I have to take through for my whole life. Prednisone, which is a steroid that I have to be on because I got graft versus host disease. The prednisone eats at your bones. Mine started deteriorating, so I had to get a double hip replacement. Hurry up. Come on your sweater, brother. Dad, can you pick my sweater? Yeah, come over. When you're battling cancer, the main thing that really helps you out a lot is that support system. I mean, I had to pick up that mother role. Everything that Casey did, I had to pick it up. My thing is when I leave to camp and I'm gone, and Casey has to do all this. Tomorrow, Guerrero will begin his pre-fight media tour. Then, barring any delays, it's off to Vegas for training camp. But today, he pays his children's elementary school a visit and receives a welcome surprise. Oh, shoot, they're all waiting. You know, you're not signing the shorts. He's going to show that hard work is going to pay off. And it's not about what you say, about what you do. And, you know, he, he's, he's a great role model for these kids. We're real proud of him. Everybody here signed this for you, Robert. We used all of our magic pens. All the good luck, good health for you in your training. And who's going to win on May 4th? Yeah. <laughs> Seeing the kids, all of them rooting for you, I mean, it makes you want to come home a hero. I hope you win. Yeah. Training for a fight leaves little room in a boxer's life for family. So for Floyd, a late night movie is a treasured chance to steal a little one on one time with his daughter, Ayana. God bless me with four beautiful children. I love my children. I love them. I wish I could be with them every day. Every day. And to ensure a little privacy, Floyd rents out the entire theater. If I'm in a position to get up the best, why not? The main thing that's important, as long as my children get a good education and they use manners and, they're, and, they're, and they are respectful, that's what counts. Rihanna's kind of vulgar. You trying to go see Rihanna? Rihanna kind of, Rihanna kind of rated, rated R. <laughs> Mayweather and his children enjoy the best of everything. His desire to maintain that lifestyle is well known. And like his children, Daddy loves his toys. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the candy store. Now, this is what you call a garage. You know, but a couple old toys, but you know, I like them. They mine. I'm the breadwinner in my family. I can care less about the people that's jealous of me. Yeah, he got me before. He ain't gonna get me again. Damn, he tough. That black muff fight when they're picking his head. I feel if I work hard, I can play hard. Chop his ass. This is me. Did nobody get in there and put the gloves on for me? Did nobody go out there on that road and run miles and miles for me? Nobody took the broken ribs. Nobody took the bloody nose. I did it all. I dedicated myself to my craft, and I bust my ass. I'm going to continue to keep believing in my skills, keep listening to my father, keep listening to my uncle, and sit on this throne for 30 months. Father, we just thank you so much for this day. We thank you for your presence here. We thank you for your spirit here, Lord. We thank you for our dear guests today, Robert and Casey, Lord, and we commit this show to you today. And Lord, in all things, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We're glad you're here. Early in my career, I did a Bible study with the pastor out of San Jose. He prophesied over me. 
told me, hey, one of these days, you're gonna be at the heights of boxing, on the biggest stage, and you're gonna be able to minister to millions of people around the world. Today, Robert Guerrero will have his platform as he begins a 48-hour, 3,000-mile media blitz. While he may not be training, the process is equally grueling. Well, please welcome to the 700 Club, Robert the Ghost Guerrero and his wife, Casey. I try to model my career in a good way. I try to take every opportunity I have to inspire people. I work hard, I train hard, and, and I give it all I got because I know the, the Lord's blessed me with a tremendous talent, and uh, you know I gotta go out there and, and be a shining light with that talent. This is one of the biggest hubs of our faith. It's like, wow, I was on the 700 Club. I already won. Thank you, Casey. Let me know when you're ready so I can train you. I'm a little out of shape, brother. Okay, I'll get you in shape. Far away, under the neon light heavens of a different promised land, the pound for pound king of boxing holds his own daily service. Why did he go on tour? and I didn't, it's not unfair. What he has to do is earn his stripes, not just in the ring. Tell the people why, what you bring to the table, that's different from any other fighter. Media conference today, and uh, you know, we gotta get this done as part of selling the fight, so you know, it's time to take our business. Crossover at three. Yeah. We said we can be out of there by 3.30. Rumble, 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 rumble. Gilroy, California, Robert from Ghost Guerrero. 16 years champion, undefeated. Eight world titles, five weak legs. Your morning is gonna be really full too. You've got Wall Street Journal, you've got Fox Business, you've got Sirius Radio Tour, and then you'll have like two hours to breathe. These guys are going crazy. Hard work! Hard work! Hard work! Hard work! Thank you guys for all coming out. This is huge. This is uh, the biggest fight of my career. I've been up all night, you know, doing interviews, so I'm a little, little, a little, little, little exhausted. A lot of people think I'm crazy, but I think you're crazy for thinking I'm crazy. You know, I look at this as a modern day David and Goliath. I'm flying to shock the world, and I really believe that. Never try it, never try it. Yeah, we won't be. Okay, where am I going? Robert, I watched the 700 Club yesterday. Do you see this as a contrast of, of characters? Do you not approve of his lifestyle? No, but to me, it's a uh, hundred M's. So can you imagine what I'm gonna do in 30 months? God puts you in a position for a reason. He puts you in certain spots for a reason. I feel he's put me in this position to humble Floyd Mayweather. Good, good. You say you want to sit at the top of the throne. With flying under the radar, is now the media wants to be on you even more. It's crazy, the media's on you. You want to have a crown on your head, you want to be champion. Hard time, dedication. <laughs> That's a lot of groundwork to get to this level. What time are we going to be done today? Because I actually got to train. It's been already going to two days. I'm a fighter. You know, all the attention and all that, you know, it just comes with the territory, so uh, just got to keep on trucking through. Boy, Mayweather already earned his stripes. Ha! A top boxer was led out of Kennedy Airport in handcuffs. Robert Guerrero is supposed to be training for an upcoming bout with Floyd Mayweather. Authorities say he told a Kennedy Airport ticket agent he had a gun in his bag. Checking in to his flight at JFK, Robert Guerrero was arrested for possession of a firearm unlicensed in New York. He was released 12 hours later. He'll face the judge. 10 days after he faces Mayweather. There's no comment. Life is not predetermined. Everything can change. And when you find yourself under the media microscope, even a short detention can become national news. But you can't let it phase you. There's work to be done. On the next All Access, Mayweather versus Guerrero. They were saying disrespectful things about me. Basically, what goes around comes around. The way they talk, the way they want to treat us, are we going to show them? He said that he's been calling me out for many, many years. Who hasn't been calling Floyd Mayweather out for many years? We got to step it up. It's time to focus in and zero in on what we got to do. I always find a way to win. Because I was born a win, I'm going to die a win. All Access, Mayweather versus Guerrero, Wednesdays at 10. Don't miss Mayweather versus Guerrero, Saturday, May 4th, live on Showtime Pay-Per-View.